Hey guys, Sal here, and today we're going to be talking about the AWS Light Machine Gun. Now, this is a Naval Strike weapon available in the Naval Strike DLC, as you might have guessed. And I will say, first of all, without a doubt, this is one of the best light machine guns that I have used to date in Battlefield 4. And why is that exactly? Well, let's take a look at the stats of this weapon. Overall, it's just a very, just, there's nothing really to complain about with this weapon. Everything is pretty much exactly what you would want in any weapon, really. You have a low recoil, high rate of fire, low first shot recoil, and just across the board, we've got some really nice stats. The recoil when you're using this weapon is all but non-existent, really, and you can really barely notice it at all, which is just perfect for close range and long range as well and we have a very high rate of fire for a light machine gun coming in at 780 rounds per minute which is pretty high for a light machine gun it's a little lower than the mg4 or the m249 which come in at 800 rounds per minute but 780 rounds is still a very good rate of fire for close range and especially a long range as well it's not so high that we just can't do anything because our bullets are going so fast and we can't control our weapon now also the first shot recoil on this weapon is also very low coming in at a one times multiplier now what this means is that when you burst fire that first shot recoil multiplier won't come into play because it's only a one times multiplier which won't actually change your shot so over range burst firing is very very easy because your shots won't be increased every time that you press the trigger again so burst fire is perfect because that's what we do a lot of the time with the light machine gun because they generally have a higher spread than other weapons and work better when being burst fired now let's talk about the aiming down sight accuracy of this weapon it is 0.3 degrees which is pretty standard for a light machine gun it's not quite as accurate as a, an assault rifle which comes in at 0.2 degrees but again we have a very low re recoil to balance that and what we can do is we can add on the heavy barrel with this weapon to get a more accurate shot because the heavy barrel what it does is it makes your shots more accurate at the cost of increasing your recoil but as i said we already have a very low and manageable recoil the heavy barrel really does add to this weapon in a really great way usually when i add the heavy barrel onto a weapon i think instantly like wow this is hard this is hard to control with light machine guns though especially stable ones like this with a very low first shot recoil you really don't notice it all and it does wonders for your shot accuracy now we also have a very big magazine coming in at 100 which is it's not as big as an mg4 or m249 but it's still it's quite large 100 rounds you can easily go through seven eight maybe even nine guys literally quite literally because you have so many bullets and also the reload time on this weapon is it's very snappy especially for a light machine gun 3.5 seconds short and 4.85 seconds on the long reload most light machine guns that have around 100 or 200 rounds in the chamber can be upwards of five, six seconds for the reload, which is a really long time to take yourself out of the action. So overall, we've got a nice rate of fire, low reload time, we've got pretty accurate weapon, and really nothing to complain about. This weapon almost plays like an assault rifle when you set it up properly. Now, I actually prefer this weapon to both the MG4 and the M249. The only real downside is the smaller magazine, and it's not really smaller, I don't usually find myself in a situation with 100 rounds and think, oh darn, I really wish I had 200 rounds in that situation. That often doesn't happen. And even though we will need to reload more, we have a much faster reload than the MG4 or the M249. And also, we do have a bit of a lower rate of fire, 800 down to 780 rounds per minute on this weapon, which is really nothing to complain about at all. The other stats on this weapon are just superb, and I really don't see any reason to use the MG4 or the M249 over this weapon and right now I would say that this is likely the ideal light machine gun to use in Battlefield 4 which is good because I feel like this class, the support class, is just lacking some weapons that make it appealing. It doesn't have any weapons where you say, you know what, I'm going to go play support to use blank weapon. We didn't really have that previously though with the AWS I can definitely say I was playing support specifically for this weapon just because it is so good. Now what I like to run with this weapon is the heavy barrel because as I said it makes your shots much more accurate and you don't really notice it because we already have such a stable weapon and I also use the stubby grip because that will make our shots even more accurate by 15% because we aren't as accurate as an assault rifle so any sort of extra accuracy we can get we will gladly add and for my accessory slot I use the magnifier because I don't really want to use a laser sight because the hip fire on light machine guns in general is just pretty bad and I don't want to use a flashlight or anything because in my opinion those are kind of useless attachments so the magnifier is great and allows you to pick up kills over the mid-range now for your sight 
I like any laser sight really. I use the hollow sight to level up this weapon because you get it at only 10 kills and I think it's a great sight. Though I do prefer the coyote sight at the higher levels just because it's so low profile and it takes up pretty much no part of your screen. So I definitely prefer the coyote sight. So overall, this is a superb light machine gun and I highly recommend that you give it a try to unlock. And it's pretty easy to unlock actually. You only need to get... I believe it is three light machine gun ribbons and three kills with C4, or not C4, three vehicle kills as support that you will likely be using C4. So it's pretty easy, especially if you have someone on the other team that just happens to be your friend and just happens to let you C4 their vehicle three times in a row. So, I mean, pretty easy, especially if you have someone helping you out, though you can get it naturally as well fairly easily so guys remember if you have found this video helpful please hit that like button i do always appreciate that and if you want to see more battlefield content be sure to subscribe to my channel so guys with that thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys next time <laughs>